Auto Line's coverage from CES in Las Vegas is brought to you by our signature sponsor, Magna, and also by Bose and Gentex. At CES, of course, one of the big mega trends is all about mobility, new kinds of mobility. We got Tamara Snow here yep. from you heading up all kinds of R&D and things at Continental. But Tamara, tell us, what is this vehicle? Yeah, so this is our driverless vehicle, our autonomous vehicle, and it's called the Q for the Continental Urban Mobility Experience. Uh, and so today what we want to talk about is um, the public transportation is going to increase more and more. We're seeing world trends that are saying we need to have shared mobility. And we've done our own mobility surveys that say that uh, the majority of people around the world uh, feel that public transportation is their preferred. So for us, it's important that um, as we go into this with autonomous, we're seeing also that the consumers are still a bit weary about autonomy, uh, and especially the driverless vehicles. So it's important for us to um, raise awareness and develop the consumer trust. And for us, it's all about the human machine interface. And so that's one of the things that we want to showcase today. One of the things I like is on the front of the vehicle, it, it displays things so pedestrians can see what the vehicle is thinking, right? Exactly. So when you don't have a driver in the vehicle, it becomes difficult because um, normally, if you have pedestrians walking by, they can look at the driver and see the expressions on their face or use hand gestures to indicate who has the right of way. In this case, when there is no driver, we have to find a new language and a new way of communicating between pedestrians and vehicles. So you've got this green display that says to the pedestrians, I'm the vehicle, I see you. I'm not going to move forward and run you over. Correct. Correct. Yep. So it lets them know, and also it's letting the people inside the vehicle know that a pedestrian has been detected and that we are stopping for them so that people are aware of what's happening. Let's take a look inside and see okay. what this is all about. Yep. So normally the way that this works is that um, once, the, once the passenger has booked a ride, uh, the vehicle will approach to them and they will also see on that front screen uh, a message that says, yes, this is your vehicle, because many will be passing by at one time and they need to know which one is theirs. Once they've been acknowledged that it's their vehicle, they will approach the vehicle and they'll have an app on their phone. This app will enable them by just holding their smartphone up to the vehicle to gain access. Can we get a phone and open that yes, up? Yes, we sure okay. can. So if you want to give us access to the vehicle. So, so this is like your own private little bus. Exactly, yep. So, in this vehicle, um, what you can see is once you get inside and once the door closes, that lets us know that we're going to start moving forward. As we start moving forward, it's going to show the basic things like um, the navigation system showing exactly which path we're going, where the next stops are, when is our stop going to be. Yep. And then um, it's going to share some additional information that we at Conti believe is relevant. Well, why don't we close the doors and uh, show mm -hmm. what some of this is about. Okay. Now, what I love about it is this is dynamic, on demand. This isn't just running a fixed route, is it? Correct. Yeah, so it can, you can do either. You can have a geofenced route that is running in the cities, or you can set it up to be a dynamic. And we just heard a little signal, what, that tells us we're about to get going? Exactly. You see the signal, you heard the signal, and that's our actuated sound that we have inside this vehicle. There are no speakers. This is using actuators to produce the sound off of vibration of surfaces. You also saw that these lights up above us change, and that's indicating what mode the vehicle's in, if we're moving, if we're stopped, if we're enabling passengers to come on board. And you've got a screen up here that shows the, the route that we're taking and some points of interest as we go by different stores and theaters and things like that. Exactly. So you'll see this up on the screen, but the other thing that you'll see is that it'll show up on the app on your phone. So if you see something that you want to get more information on, you simply click it on the app on your phone and it pulls up more information. And if you decide you want to like it, you'll actually see the number of likes go up on the screen as a result of your interaction. Where do you see this standing right now? Uh, do, you, do you have any pilot programs going? We do. So we actually have uh, two of these cubes that are available in Germany on our uh, private campuses. And then we've got two in the U.S. that are available. One on a private campus and then one that we're intending to put on a university campus. Oh, interesting. So what are you going to do? Well, you, this is for yep. learning, obviously. Exactly. So well, these what are, are your next thoughts? So these are concept cars, and in each location we're focusing on different things. So in some locations we're focusing 
focusing on uh, autonomous driving of the vehicle. In other locations, we're focusing really on the HMI, as you see here. Um, and then in other locations, we really just want to get some feedback for user experience and um, test out some new concepts as well. So um, I imagine this little bus is bristling with continental technology. Yes. But I'm sure you don't make the vehicle yourselves, do you? Correct. No, we have a partner, Easy Mile. And so Easy Mile is making the chassis of the vehicle and um, it's coming with, let's say, off-the-shelf components. And then we come in and we customize the vehicle for our needs and for our testing. And then Easy Mile actually runs the service itself? Or who, who would do that? No, so that will be fleet owners. So the Easy Mile would be just like an OEM that would provide a vehicle. And then fleet owners could be the city as a fleet owner, could be uh, any of the car sharing programs, could be anyone in the public transportation area in the future. Uh, they would be the ones who would then decide on customizing content and what they want on there. So are cities all over the world knocking on your door or what's been the reaction? Yeah, so we are engaged with multiple cities um, uh, for doing this kind of a service as well as working on the infrastructure to support these kind of shuttles as well. It's pretty exciting. So what would a ride cost or anything? I know you, you're not going to set that, but I mean, how expensive is this vehicle? Could it be fairly cheap alternative? Well, I think that's why the, the most of the um, participants of our study voted for public transportation, because it is the most cost-effective solution. So we have already uh, working with Zonar for uh, Park Pocket for booking the rides, Zonar for the access systems to get in, Easy Mile for the actual platforms. We've got many, many partners that we work on, and you know, you see inside uh, that we have um, payment options that we work on with HPE. So we've got a lot of partners for all different kinds of services. So Tamara, we're sitting in part of the mobility revolution right now. Exactly. Yep. And so this is where we see it going next. And with this car, we can identify for different demographics um, which kind of communication is working best, um, whether it should be visual communication, whether it should be audible communication, when to give information, uh, when to you know use all of these different protocols. So you're going to be learning a lot, and we're probably going to start seeing these things in cities around the world. Exactly. Yep. Tamara, thanks so much. Very interesting what you're working on. Yeah, thank you so much for letting me share. Tomorrow's vehicles will communicate with your house, make payments, even recognize you with the latest in digital vision, car-to-home automation, and vehicle-to-infrastructure technology. So consider Gentex for scalable features ready today based on tomorrow's emerging technology.